Hey you guys, I want to do a quick video and show you how I wash my wigs. I'm going to cut some baby hairs right here in the temple on this piece and then I want to redirect the part. So this is a silk top right here on the top part of the perimeter. Anywhere you part it, it's going to look like scalp. But to switch your part or to get a clean part, it's a good idea to wash. If your style is already set in it and you decided you needed your part a little to the left or to the right, you could just spray it down once you've parted it and just blow dry the root and that should set the part in. So this piece being brand new, there's no baby hairs cut in, as you can see, just a straight edge. And what I'm gonna do is lightly soften right in here and remove the lace, but I want the part to be a center part just so that I can show off the silk top for when clients come in. It looks a lot like scalp. As you can see, like, let me get this in here. Um, so this is a prosthetic that mimics the scalp for sure. This is a silk top, but as far as silk tops go, it's a really good silk top. It doesn't look pillowy or, um, some of them I think have almost this tan peachy pink color. And I like this, this is more of a fair, just kind of neutral scalp. And because it's, you know, fresh out of the box, beautiful, it doesn't really have a part set into it yet. So when clients come in, if they try it on, it's been combed back and it just looks a little dated and kind of like a little, you know, bump in the bang. But they actually lay really, really um, sleek as far as wigs go, especially for having return hair and the hair is really high quality. It's partially removed at the cuticle, just where the return hairs are, but the rest has really nice body to it. So maybe before cutting the baby hairs, I'll show you how I get that natural um, air, you know, beach wave. So I like to air dry my pieces, but I try to use conditioning products since I'm gonna wash it anyways. So for washing your wigs at home, or if you're just starting out as a stylist working with wigs, what I find is I will take and fill up a bowl full of water and then I add my shampoo into the bowl of water and I submerge my wig or my topper into the bowl with shampoo in it versus taking it, wetting the wig, putting the shampoo on my hands and then you know trying to plop it onto the wig because then I have to distribute it throughout the wig evenly and normally right where you first apply it that's kind of where it wants to concentrate so what i do is normally i'll use my cr labs conditioning um, recently on my own hair i started to use the cr labs refresh and today i'm going to wash the wig with the refresh just because in the shower i've really been enjoying the tea tree scent and the freshness of the shampoo and how um, it just feels really clean and a lot of times when we're wearing the same cap or you know you're wearing a system you really appreciate that real fresh wash now granted this is on a wig it's brand new but I just want to try it and see if in air drying it if the you know if it doesn't add any buildup or anything to it that's different from using the conditioning shampoo Another shampoo I like using with the wigs is the Wild Ginger Paul Mitchell. And the reason why I use the Wild Ginger, I'm not a big fan of their rinse uh, for conditioner. I said it in a previous video and I really stand behind it for blondes, curly, unprocessed, really processed, great quality pieces to, you know, really over processed hair. I use the CR Labs. Um, conditioner and I use this on my own hair all my friends use it my clients and this is what I use even when I'm washing with the um, wild ginger but the wild ginger as far as the shampoo goes it lathers incredibly and it's actually really conditioning just in the shampoo so that's a really good one and then if I'm not using that one I do the conditioning shampoo with CR labs like I said just because for myself, recently within like the last three weeks, I've been using the Refresh and I'm kind of addicted to the freshness and how clean and the smell, it's 
not as medical as a lot of tea tree shampoos. It actually, I think the essential oils in it really give it a kind of like spa-like soothing smell versus a medical smell. So I just wanted to try it today. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take the refresh. And if you can't find this, just go to our store. Definitely get the conditioner, but um, we have the refresh on there as well. So take a little bit of the refresh shampoo, pour it into your soapy water. Another thing you could do is pour the shampoo in first and then put the water so that it kind of mixes it in and get a little bubble bath going for your piece. If your system is not new and you have clips on it, make sure that you take your hair out of the clips, that you comb all the tangles out. I would hold it in the direction that the hair is um, ventilated in, tied in. And what I do with the first dip is I'll try to grip the wig or the topper so that that way when I'm combing it, I'm not trying to untangle a mess of hair because you don't want to pull and yank on them if you want to get longevity out of it and have them last longer. Then in every step of styling and prepping them, that will help to keep the hair from pulling out of the cap. And of course, with these pieces, the hair is not gonna grow back. So you do wanna be intentional when you're washing it and treat it as though it is something that has value and is important to you. So comb out all your tangles, grab the piece. If it's longer like this, feel free to hold it. And then I take it and I'll just dip it into the water with the shampoo in it. And that way, it's already you know distributed throughout the water and in the hair and then i'll rub down in the direction that the hair falls and i'll clean it this way my reason for doing this is if you pull down on it and they're already hand tied you can tighten the knots where if you just put it in the water and it soaks and that knot kind of swells up it might not seem like a lot the first few washes or maybe even the first six months but eventually, if in the same area, knots loosen and you start to lose hair, eventually you'll have a bald spot. But if you take it and you wash it with control and then you condition it and clean it by massaging the hair down in the direction, you tighten those knots and that could preserve it a little bit longer. So take it around the ear tabs on the inside. You can rewash it, uh, put a little shampoo soapy water on your fingertips on a cloth if you need to get um, some of these little poly tabs in here and then the inside of the cap too with my hands i'll massage it and i try to be gentle with it i don't want to stretch it out um, normally the lace would be cut off but you still you don't want to yank on the lace you want to be gentle with that so kind of around here where the sideburns are um, maybe hold it here when you're washing it and gently go with the lace. Then what I do is I'll rinse the first process off the soapy water and then I'll always dip it again. My reason for that is usually the second time the water or the soap, the shampoo has a little bit more um, suds to it and I feel like I get a really good clean. Especially if you've been wearing your piece for you know two weeks, normally it's suggested to wash after every 10 wears. And some clients will go a little longer and some will do it once a week. So if you're washing it and you're working out in your piece and you're more active and you're washing it more often, then um, you know maybe one time through is fine. But if you're going two weeks or three, if you get it in there a second time, and you might even want to change the water if you've used like oily products on your hair or if you're somebody who touches your hair a lot, it's nice to get that um, excess oil off. And the second wash, um, again, if I've used a lot of product or if I'm very hands-on with my hair, what I'll do is empty out the water, start a new mixture of shampoo and water so that um, it can really get in there and cleanse out the extra oils. So. I do that and then after turning the cap inside out and getting a good cleanse on the cap, I'll rinse it throughout, get all the shampoo out of it, um, turn my cap inside out underneath the faucet and then just make sure that I rinse it well inside out so that if there's any shampoo 
that's stuck around the knots or at the base, it can like fall down into the ends of the hair. And I still keep it very controlled because I don't want to go back through and have to comb out long hair. Um, again, the first few times, even the first six months, you might not think much about it, but we have clients that have their pieces for a few years, and I think it's because they take uh, care in washing it and in styling it. So, after I do the wash for the second time and rinse it out, when I put the conditioner on, I don't put the conditioner on the cap. I will put the conditioner on the length of the hair, about an inch from the root, and let that set for five to 10 minutes, and then I rinse it out thoroughly with some cool water, or lukewarm, I would say, and towel blot. Again, you wanna make sure that you're being mindful that this hair isn't growing back, so you don't wanna go in there and rough it up with the towel, just a light little towel blot. Um, as far as styling goes, I'm going to try to get a body wave out of this piece or see how much natural body wave it has. So what I'm going to do is after I condition, I'm going to place it on an appropriate size uh, mannequin head. This mannequin head is cork, so you could pin your wig or your topper to it and style it or just kind of let it set to air dry. For a full wig, you want to make sure that whatever form you have is not bigger than the size of your wig. When your wig's wet, just kind of like a pair of leather shoes or a pair of pants, um, it will stretch a little and it will not tighten back up when you get it wet. So you don't want to dry it on a form that's too big for it. So what I like about the Folia um, corkscrews, I, they are made to fit a standard size. Even if you have a smaller, um, a small or an extra small, it should be fine. If you have a large, it'll definitely be fine. But some of the canvas heads or mannequin heads that are four wigs online, I've had clients buy them on Amazon. Some of them are right and some of them are way too big. And then when their wig's wet and they place it on there, it um, dries larger. And that's something that can definitely happen. So as far as styling goes, for long hair and because I don't want too much hold, I just want condition. Um, and I want to go in there and fill out the porosity of the hair make sure that it has um, a consistent body and shine to it. I'm going to use what I use on my own hair and that's the Hydro Mousse. The Hydro Mousse is a CR Labs product and it's a conditioning mousse. So it's not going to make your hair crunchy. Like I put it in mine and there's no um, crunchiness or any type of um, stickiness to it. It's just pure conditioner and rebuilds, reconstructs and strengthens the hair. So I'm going to put that on part it in the center, block it on my head, and let it air dry. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let it air dry. And then I'll show you kind of what that does before I cut the baby hairs in. For some of you that want to wear your hair natural and really organic for the summer, for the spring, just get the right product in it. Um, if you have a wig that is um, really processed hair, and when you air dry it, there's no wave to it, there's other tricks. You could let it dry with some braids in it, um, maybe three, four big braids. And then when it's fully air dried, either under a dryer or let it set on your form overnight, you take the braids out, turn it upside down and just kind of like break it up. For that, I would use something like an oil, no oil, which is a really good um, kind of like a gloss serum for your hair except for it's not going to make it oily or weigh it down but it will add some shine and condition the ends and um, even if it's just a manicured style and you just want to prep it for the braids or for any of the curls you do that's a really good product um, if you need something with a little bit more hold in your styling like in your mousse so maybe you're going to wear it beach wavy today but tomorrow or the next day you want to round brush it out or you want to take it a flat iron and kind of um, add some weeds to it, then I would say get the wild ginger. Um, it's called Hydro Whip. I always call it mousse, but it's actually Hydro Whip and it's same brand, black bottle like this. Um, that does have hold. And as far as mousses withhold, 
it's one of my favorites. Doesn't have uh, 